In his book Capital, Marx talks about how commodities, things people make to sell, get their prices. He says prices are kind of made up because when someone makes something to sell, they have to guess how much people will pay for it. So there is a gap between the price they guess and the actual price it sells for. The price you see in the store is not the real value of the thing, but just how much it seems to be worth. The real value is based on how much time and effort went into making it. But in capitalism, this real value gets hidden behind the price tag. The price can change depending on how many of the thing are available and how much people want it. But eventually there is a price that settles and shows the average time and effort it takes to make the thing. This price is like the money name of the work putting into making the thing. Marx talks about how things can have a price even if they don't really have a value. He gives examples like conscience and honor, which are not really things you can buy and sell, but sometimes people act like they are. In those cases, the price is just made up. But sometimes things like land that nobody has worked on can also have a price, even though they don't have any real value, because nobody put any labor into them. So just because something has a price does not mean it actually has value. Marx is more interested in how prices show the overall pattern of how things are made and traded in society. He says that the real rules of capitalism are about how things are produced and how much time and effort goes into making them. He is not so interested in just figuring out how prices compare to each other like many economists do. He says that when prices don't match up with real value of things, it is a sign that there is something wrong with how goods are being distributed and how the economy is working. These mismatches in prices can even lead to big economic problems like crises. Marx criticizes economists who only focus on how prices change in the market because he thinks they are missing the bigger picture of how capitalism really works. They are just looking at the surface while Marx wants to dig deeper into the system's inner workings. 